Howdy mates, good morning. Here's my second video log out at the Sycamore State Park near Trotwood, Ohio. So here's another perspective of seeing the Wolf Creek that runs through here. It is a relatively shallow stream. And once again, this is considered to be an alluvial stream. I mean, you can see the bedrock down here. However, it's an alluvial stream because you can see many sediments down here. So a common occurrence, especially in streams, if you can see them, include potholes. So if you look very carefully, right down here is an example of a pothole. And they usually form because over time, if there's like an excess amount of erosion happening, you know, like if flooding occurs, the water essentially drills into the rock, kind of acting like a drill. And what's neat about these potholes is it actually creates habitats. So, for instance, certain, what would you call, like darters, for example. I don't, I don't know if they're exactly in this particular stream or not. But any, for any of the smaller fish, like the minnows, or just very young fish, they can stay in those potholes in case if, you know, in case if there's flooding that happens. Because essentially, when they're in the pothole, there's really not much water movement as opposed to if they were above. So those are great opportunities to more or less camp out. And they serve as great hiding spots too from other predators such as crayfish, for instance. There we go. Neat preserve, I, I gotta say, like, there's a combination of hiking trails and even bridle trails. You can bring horses out here. Or as uh, Bono used to say from the band U2, who's going to ride your wild horses? <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that little reference in there. Uh, but, yeah, I mean... Surprisingly, you can see a lot of uh, American beach, such as this right ahead of me. Uh, I noticed, too, there's a lot of uh, sugar maple, which are a lot of these younger trees. And I believe here, right ahead of me, is either... Let me look carefully. I believe this is white ash, based on the bark. So it's most likely dead. You know, sometimes ways you can tell, I mean, I can't directly rip this bark off, but usually along the heartwood, you'll see like little mazes coming from the ash borer. Yeah, they are a nuisance, that's for sure. But yeah, usually white ash with the bark, it kind of has more of a block-like pattern. But yeah, plenty of opportunity to see old growth forest. Uh, gosh, how I love my streams and my forests. So, alrighty. Thought I would share that with you guys. Hope you learned a little bit about the trees that you can find here. And just other characteristics of alluvial streams. There's a lot of them in Ohio. That's for sure. So, alright. Hope all of you enjoy your Friday. And Journey on a Journey is out. Take care, folks.